Tonight in Del Rio, Texas, this is where thousands without a home wait to see where they'll go tomorrow. Still more than 10,000 migrants in this massive camp, mostly Haitians surviving in makeshift shelters. The group swelling to nearly 15,000 strong this weekend until a mass convergence of law enforcement. Hundreds of state troopers in cars and Border Patrol agents on horseback blocking more people from crossing the river into the United States. It's heartbreaking. Del Rio Mayor Bruno Lozano says calls for help from the Biden administration were mostly ignored till it was too late. I've seen just the desperate looks of the people just trying to, to, to get process. I mean, it's a completely dire situation. Our crew granted exclusive access to speak with those whose future remains uncertain. This woman named Evo told me she's barely eaten over the last week, adding she left Haiti years ago. Today, Texas Governor Greg Abbott requested a federal emergency declaration, blaming the Biden administration for failing to enforce immigration laws and halt illegal crossings. Federal authorities say they've removed 3,300 migrants here so far, 327 deported to Haiti, others taken to different processing centers in the United States. Senior DHS officials telling NBC News the administration will prioritize deporting single Haitian adults and families not claiming asylum. Unaccompanied children and most families asking for asylum can stay in the U.S. DH Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas visited Del Rio today, defending the federal response. Were there enough in place for this surge? I don't think we expected the rapidity of the increase that occurred. What would you tell the woman I met under the bridge that if she goes back to Haiti, her life's in danger? We are um, realistic about the human tragedy of this, but we have a responsibility not only to the well-being of the migrants themselves, but the well-being of the local communities and the American public. Morgan, there's been a lot of attention today in some of those images of agents on horseback doing, back doing a crowd control, and there's questions over what they were holding. What can you tell us? Yeah, Lester Whitehouse spokesperson Jen Psaki called those images horrific to watch, but said she needed more information before officially making a comment. Meanwhile, Secretary Mayorkas here in Del Rio says it appears those were the riders' reins for the horse, but did promise to investigate. We have always presented ourselves as being a nation of strength with strong arms, that when people are fleeing harm, we will embrace them. But look at what has happened with this administration. There are children who are fleeing murder capitals of the world. Let's be clear about this. Imagine a mother who makes a decision to pay a coyote to transport her child across the entire country of Mexico, facing unknown peril. <laughs> She does that because she believes for that child to stay where they are is worse. But what does this president do? He virtually looks at those children and says, go back to where you came from. What do we have in this president? A policy that was about taking children, separating them from their parents, and calling it border security. No, that was a human rights abuse being committed by the United States government.